Didn't work according to plan. Bollocks. 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 Well, what a wonderful start this is, huh? <laughs> it's not bloody working. Right, let's try a new MU. Let's try a new MU, a new MU, and a new MU. Let's try a new MU. Hopefully PlayStation will run better. We are playing Dragon Ball Z, or Z, or whatever it is. Depending on what part of the world you're in. We are doing a 9,000 sub special. Because we are over 9,000! Hooray! Yay! Boom! Yippee! Okay. That's if we can get the games working, that is. Yay! Yippee! Are we working? We have a Bandai logo. How would you like to touch my dragon bars? We're going to turn the sound off for a second to stop content ID. Pow! Pow! Bangy bong. <laughs> yeah, look at all those characters that I have no idea who they are. I haven't played this in ages. I can't remember much about Dragon Ball Z. But it's over 9,000! Subs. So... There's only one game we can play, right? Well, one series of games we can play. And that is Dragon Ball. So let's get straight into it with Dragon Ball Final Bout. Oh, do I want versus Com or versus a man? No, you're a man! Lots of characters to choose from. 1910. Let's go for this titular character, shall we? You look strong. This should be a good fight. Goku. Now, should I clean the trash of the universe? I think you should. It's only polite to clean up the mess you make. Floaty graphics ahoy. Super Saiyan shit on me! Ow! Yeah. This is practically unplayable. 
It's so janky. I don't remember it being this janky. But it is, you know. It's it's almost uncontrollable. Let's just power in the fireballs till we run out of energy. Takes so long to charge up an attack. And they say Shaq Fu had long, long buffering. Ah, oh, this is this is just unpleasant. Tax landed. Yippee, shy eye. That was a bit too close. So let's see how strong Goku you are. versus Super <laughs> Little Goku, eh? All right, if you insist. Look at that dirty little dude. He's wiping the floor with me. Presses are oh, so great. I don't think I'm fully in control of this, you know. You can't fly diagonally either, you can only fly up, down, left, right. This is nowhere near as solid as I remember it being. This is kind of shit. It's so uncontrollable. The charge up for the attacks is rough. There's no inkling of a possible combo anyway. Turning rounds hard enough. Yeah, we are heading around. Days. I'll actually finish him, yes. So, just as I thought, you're great. Just as I thought, this game's not great. You look strong. This should be a good fight. Mm. Now let me show you the force of my true power. Ooh. Could it be your Venus flytrap head? Ugh. By the time I've turned around, he's flown away. It's over 9,000! Oh, the games I'd prefer to be playing than this one right now. It's, it's just so cumbersome. I don't know whether I'm being effective, because nothing seems to work. Now, I was playing Blood Beauty uh, yesterday, the cross-tag battle on Switch. Excellent game. 
absolutely brilliant, really said. tight, simplistic controls. You know, you could you could fire off combos with ease. Everything felt graceful and enjoyable. And then going from that You're last night to this is a so major easy. drop down. A major drop down. This is worse than I remember it being. strategy that seems to work quite often. Yeah. Riveting. You're not as strong as you said. You look strong. This should be a good fight. This is going to be a problem. Press the frickin' attack. Street Fighter, this ain't it. I thought this was a good fighting game. It's, it's not my, no, it's not my thought at all. I never thought it was a good fighting game. So, just as I thought, but it's worse than I remember. Great. This is rough. So let's see how strong you are. All right, I have to the give presentation's all pretty good though. I've got to give it credit for the presentation. It takes you a se literally one second to turn around, and one punch takes off most of their energy. Then you have an enemy that can do rapid, rampant combos for some reason that I just can't figure it out, and can be killed so quickly. I don't know, man. Is this one of the biggest disappointments, or is this just a bad game? Play some more. Crouch, kick, crouch, kick, crouch, kick, crouch, kick, until he's dead. That's all we can do, because that's the only attack that seems to be able to hit this little guy. Oh wait, we can do diagonals. We've got to hold the R1 button. Then we can do a diagonal. Yay. Intuitive controls. Yes, Dominic, it does indeed. How are you doing? Oh, what's going on? Oh, an unblockable combo, is it? Lovely. Yeah, 
this is... It's just uncontrollable. This could very well go into the worst PlayStation game list. Ugh, it's just... yeah. If it wasn't for the license, there's no way this game would do anything. It's dreadful. Now let's not continue. Game over. I think I have seen enough of that game to last a lifetime. And it repeats the intro again. Now are there any other options that we might have missed? Build up. Build up or a build up battle. And right, let's go for a different character this time. There are more characters in this mode. So let's go for... Let's go for Cell. Why not? Loading something, I'm not sure what's going on. Wow. 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 You're not as strong as you said. Wow. Okay, I literally just jumped in the air and that was all I could do. Why is it so hard to make a Dragon Ball game? I don't know, but the last one was pretty good. I've got to be fair. That Dragon Ball Fighter Z, pretty damn good. And there was a, a Super Nintendo Dragon Ball game which wasn't bad either. But this is just uncontrollable. If you look at my button inputs on the on the stream. It's just oh that's that's garbage. I think Yeah. It is. It's going on the worst games list. It's going on the worst games list, people. Dragon Ball Z, that's gonna upset a fair few. Putting a Dragon Ball Z game on the worst list. Oh I'm asking for trouble. Let's hope the next one's a bit better then. Because, as I have over 9,000 subs, we've got to do a Dragon Ball special, right? It's over 9,000! So, we're going to do all the Dragon Ball games. Luckily, there are only three of them on the PlayStation. So, let's do Ultimate Battle 22. Come on. No, don't eject the CD, you... Uh. Now reset. Why are you not working? Let me just check to make sure the Q file's okay. Yep, seems all right. Let's just go for the bin file then and reset. Did you play the Dragon Ball Z Legend of the Super Saiyan, the RPG that uses cards? No. No, I didn't. I didn't realize there was one, to be honest with you. So Dragon Ball Z Legend of the Super Saiyan, was that on PlayStation? Oh, for Super Famicom. Yeah, I think I may have touched on it, but because it wasn't in English, I couldn't figure out what I was doing. But anyhow, this was Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. He's got his hands in the shape of a vagina. Patow! Man with cape. Man's hand. Old man. 
Ähm. Vainy. Oh, Flashy Sword. Ah, Spinny Chop. Oh, Double Twins, kind of creepy. Pachow, turn into Funky Haired Man. Oh, Tentacle Ass. Green Haired Freak. Pink Freak. Green Freak. Hot Chick. Who can kick ass? Douche. With an attachable arm. Not sure whether chick or dude. Bubble belly. Looks like me. Um, I don't know. That looks like the genie from Aladdin on crack. Okay. Anyway. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. So let's go 1P versus Com. Now let's select. Oh, complete with all their registered and trademarked logos. Look at that. There's quite a few characters. I would imagine that's the 22 that the uh, the title suggests. So we got Goten, we got Gotenks, Krillin, Gohan, Android 18, Majin Buu. Goku, Cell, Tabura, Android 16, Piccolo, Rakume. Well, let's go with the titular Goku. It's much better. So a good roster. Better than the last game already. Oh, it's much more responsive than the last one. This is already a much better game than the last one. Still an uncontrollable mess. But at least it sounds good. And it looks better. Oh, the, uh, the subs went down, yeah, it seems to have been, but we did creep up over 9,000 at last, huzzah. So now we can do Dragon Ball Z games, because it's over 9,000. So we can do this as a special. Luckily there aren't that many Dragon Ball Z games, and they're going to be over quite quick. So you've got one button to dash in each direction rather than just a dash button. If you hold all the buttons down together, you can charge. And I killed that guy by accident. I meant to charge up. But that works. Captain Jinyu. See if I can fluke it again. Have it, you slag. Oh, punched and kicked in the dick. Oh. That's just nasty, Goku. Okay, full strength. Come on. 
and finish him off. Another good old punch in the dick should do it. There we go. Captain Jin used jewels. Kicked in the crackers. And he's out of there. Oh. Trunks, because that's where I'm going to kick him too. The romantic music. Oh, I oh, like them apples. Gotta love that AI. I'm just running into him pressing punch. Oh, pummeling in the dick. And we're just going to run and punch him in the face till he falls over. Great AI. Supreme Kai. It's a very green battlefield. Ooh, nasty. You would be right there, Al. It is a pretty cheap and unprofessional game. It's a Bandai fighting game. Also known as Bandai Namco now. You know. Yeah, I'm not saying that Namco's track record is, is, is great. It was a lot better at this stage. Um, in fact, a couple of years before this came out, they had released the awesome, incredible weapon lord for the Super Nintendo and Genesis during Mega Drive. And then they come out and release this pack. Oh, in the face. How you like that? Oh. How are you not dead? And now you're dead. This feels like a homebrew game. There's not even a, a realm one fight thing, you know, no no introduction to the battle, it just goes. It just feels like like a homebrew free download. Rather than, you know, a forty pound, sixty dollar game. It's slop, basically. Much like my channel, way! That's why it's perfect for a, a 90,000 sub special. Cheap tat for a channel of cheap tat. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you flip me, and you spin me, and you whip me, baby, one more time. Ow! Okay, now I'm in the unblockable combo state. Yeah, now I can't hit him. Okay, now we're tired. Let's charge up. There's literally nothing he's doing to stop me. I'm just walking up to him, punching and kicking. There we go. Right, he's finally done something, and I've lost. But man, I, I was literally switching off there and just tapping the button. You look at my inputs. So this time, hopefully, we'll get to a character select and try a different character. Yep, there we go. So let's go for... Let's go for one of these little dudes. Let's go for Gotenks. It's amazing how people still clamoured. Ah. Well, Al, 
Well, if I was worried about subs, then I'd just do the same thing everybody else did. I'd be doing Minecraft Let's Plays and Fortnite. Um, the mechanics of this game are almost non-existent, much like the AI. A lot of the focus seems to be on the, the pre-rendered sprites to try and make them as cartoon-like as possible. That seems where most of the focus has gone. The, the background 3D is awful. It, it is a pseudo 3D game. But, but that seems like a mere afterthought, to be honest. It's all about these 2D sprites. No care and attention has gone to how they actually move or how they control. It's just all about how they look. The AI is defending itself, it just defends itself by blocking. It's very cheap. So it just tries to defend its, your attacks. But you can overwhelm it, I think, once you're in the corner or somewhere. Let's go for one of the big guys. Yeah, and some of the characters have that beautiful Joe vibe. But it's not really a side-scroller, this is one-on-one. -on -one. So it reminds me of, well, just horseshit, really. It reminds me of Fist of the North Star, Last Battle. You know the, uh, you know the dual sections in that game? That's what it reminds me of. Very simplistic, only a few moves to hand. Graphically unimpressive, gameplay rather boring. Okay, I've got it in the loop now. All it's doing is defending itself by blocking. It's waiting for its moment. Yes, yeah, so you just lay into it. I can headbutt him. See you, Jimmy. That's what we call a Glasgow kiss. <laughs> you have ADD and you're beginning to lose it. Yeah, this is... It's not good. This is a game that deserved to have been cancelled, really. They should have gone back to the drawing board and said, wait a minute, we've got nothing here. This is unfinished. Let's, let's, let's try again. Add an extra couple of months. Get something going properly. Get a combo mechanic in. Get some actual gameplay. Get some motion in between the moves so that players actually feel satisfied. Landing hits. Make something actually worth a damn, you know? But right now, I'm just spamming. There is a Saturn Dragon Ball Z. I'm not sure if it's this one, and I'm not sure if it's better, but we can have a look. Perhaps I can create a myth that this was indeed cancelled, and that this was found in the attic of some Japanese doctor's boyfriend's dead programmer dad. That was hanging in a tree discovered by Logan Paul. Yeah. See, now even the art consistency is poor, because 
this player isn't rendered as nicely as the other ones. The pre-rendering looks awful. She looks a mess. Is it a she? I don't even know. It looks like she's got breasts. So I'm going to assume it's a she. I'm just going to keep pummeling. See what you can do against my almighty button press. The cross kick. This is garbage. Let's get that over with. In Sweden, they say ahen. Hmm. Well, I say that game is horseshit. But is it bad enough to be in the worst PlayStation games list ever? Nah, probably not. It's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. So it's just a an almighty. Mm, yeah. That's all it is. That's all I can muster for it. So we have one more PlayStation Dragon Ball Z game. And here it comes. This is Dragon Ball Z. Itainaru Dragon Ball Densetsu. And the presentation's poorer than the other two already. So that does not bode well. Seems heavily reliant on awfully rendered 3D backgrounds. Awfully rendered fire breathing dragon snakes. Whatever the hell that thing is. We're going to call him Tri Spikes. How many console libraries are you yet to go through and what are the most interesting? Well, we have barely touched the surface on console libraries. I've only done a few. So we've done Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, PC Engine, PC Engine CD. We've done uh, Super Nintendo, we've done Sega Mega Drive, Sega Mega CD, Sega 32X, Sega Master System, Sega Game Gear. Um, I'm almost through the Wonder Swan and the Wonder Swan Color. And we're starting to go through the PlayStation 1 library. And I do believe that this PlayStation game is the one that's also on Dreamcast. Uh, not Dreamcast, sorry, the Sega Saturn. And apparently this is the best of an awful bunch. So this is the Dragon Ball... Idainaru Dragon Ball Densetsu game. For the It's Over 9000 subscriber special. This is the last Dragon Ball Z game for the PlayStation. Thank goodness for that, because the other ones have been utter shit. And this one doesn't rely as heavily on presentation, obviously, because this looks like garbage. I don't understand a word they're saying, so I'm not going to even attempt it. Yeah, we know it's Goku from right next. Blurring. Now loading. Here we go. So I get to pick my champ, do I? Oh no, I get to choose whether it's over or chain mode. 
was, I have no idea what any of them do. Let's go for it. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, what am I doing? What's going on? Ah, oh, right, okay, I'm this character. It appears I'm already out of mana. Somehow. I'm trying to charge it up, but nothing's happening. The changing camera angles is really, really confusing. This is all over the joint. Oh right, you actually switch between the characters. I see. Not really, that's a lie. I totally don't see. I haven't got a freaking clue what's going on. connected whatever that is what I don't know what's going on I don't know what I'm doing So I just keep pressing the X button. What? I can't move, I can't do anything. Okay, so forward pressing up takes me towards the enemy regardless of where they are on the map it seems not at all confusing happening there but it seems like forward doesn't go up it doesn't go down left right or anything like that it just takes you towards the enemy down takes you away um, it's it's non-logical it's a, it's a total mess
I'm, I'm just confused. I don't even know what to say right now. Because... What the fuck? Is that all there is to this? You basically run up to them, press circle, and then when they go far away, you press square. That's it. And when you run out of juice, you press left trigger, and then you switch characters. And that's it. That's... is, is that just how you win? Yeah, that seems how you win. You know, this feels like watching a demo. It feels like I have no control over it whatsoever. Even though I do have control. So the three the three characters I've chosen are fighting against one bad guy and you cycle between them, so when you're not in control, the AI takes over. But it's very hard to tell when you're actually in control. Because it feels like you never are. And it feels like you're totally ineffective when you do take over the character. You just constantly push up towards the bad guy and pummel him till he falls over. That's it. There, that's your game, folks. Press forward square, forward circle. And then I go Super Saiyan and I fire some shit at him. Goes up in the air, explodes. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, it's fallen over. But the bastard's still alive. Yes, Al, this is a commercially released game. This is not a homebrew. This is a game officially released by Bandai. Anything else I can do? No, that's about it. No, I mean, you don't need autism to pull off the combos. You just press circle. You press circle over and over again, and that's your combo. Being super high is all good out. I have been drinking most of the evening myself, so... Oh, he's finally dead. Aha. Now we do it all over again with a different douchebag. big beams and shit. Oh, I finished off with a different character this time. Oof. Did Bandai ever make a good game before its merger with Namco? Um, yeah, they made some good Power Rangers games. Some of the Power Rangers games were pretty good. Not all of them, but some of them. 
the movie one was pretty decent, to be fair. Oh, what have I done? I'm doing my Super Saiyan thing again. Well, ain't that peachy. one I'm controlling anymore. Note to self, do not ever play this one while being intoxicated ever again. Or even better, note to self, don't play this ever again. Isn't this a magical experience? Yeah, we get to view Goku from eight different angles. Yippee Kaye. Look at that flat, non quite joined together background. Oh yeah, how would you like to suck my blue ball? Oh, you made my balls explode. Pop, pop. That's gonna be messy. Oh, you're still not dead though, you piece of shit. Come on. Taking me down. Again. And I think it's quite obvious that they were not passionate, they were not competent, they were not conscious. They are probably under a lot of pressure because it's a Dragon Ball Z license. Doesn't it? Yeah, the, the Wonder Swan has some beautiful games for it. It has some really classic gems that nobody's really heard of. It's got some conversions of other great games like Golden Axe, which are worth checking out. Yeah, the Wonder Swan is pretty cool, and you can pick them up quite cheap. So I'd say grab one. Grab yourself a, a Wonder Swan Collar or a Wonder Witch, and you're you're happy. Happy days. And they run off a single battery as well. What is that? It. Was that just one fight? That was one fight. Wow. Dragon Ball ni nozomi o kakete. Yeah. Namekuse o honsou suru Krillin to gohan. Yeah, the shoulder pad brigade. Karera no mai ni tachi hadakaru no wa Ginyu Tokusen Tai. No, Wonder Swan graphics are not comparable to SNES. No. No, it sits somewhere between. Um, I don't know. They're on a level with Game Gear ish graphics, I'd say. They're a bit more defined than the Game Gear, but you've got the same kind of um, visuals, although with a better colour palette, so. Yeah, yeah, not quite PC Engine level, but above the NES, yeah, for sure. But it's got some great games. Guilty Gear Petite. Fantastic Golden Axe. It was great. Beat Mania, the Final Fantasy remakes. Uh, Side Pocket, 
It's a great conversion aside po pocket. There was this great game, I think it's called Anchor.ws as well on the, on the Wonders one. And that was a, a really unique, interesting um, capture and hold territory style game. Uh, except you had to do it by swinging the hook over the map. And it played a bit like the old, uh, the old arcade game Kicks. Where you have to um, block off segments of the map to, to claim it as your own. Um, but you were doing it against a, another opponent, and it was a really interesting concept. I, I really liked that game a lot. Um, you had things like the Digimon Battle games, which are Smash Brothers, but for, you know, for the this one. Those were later ported over to the GBA. But they played best on the one this one. The Wonder Swan had some great schmups as well. Yeah, it was big on Digimon. It had a Pocket Fighter as well, that was great. Oh, I'm getting a bit sleepy. This game's boring me. It's garbage. So let's end it with an explosion. Uh oh. Up in the air. Down come the flare. Pop, 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 pop. And the fight continues. This game is just utter shit. How could they not make one decent Dragon Ball Z game on the PlayStation? Not one. They were all garbage. I mean, that one's the, the least worst. But that's like saying I'm just eating the chocolate bar with the least amount of shit on the top of it. It's just, well, you're still eating shit. So I'm marking this as Dragon Ball Densetsu. And I'm marking that as a crushing disappointment. And I'm also going to write Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22 as a crushing disappointment. Dragon Ball Z GT Final Belt is probably going on the worst PlayStation games list of all time. But that's enough talking about my balls. Let's got time. We got time for one more game. Now, unfortunately, we don't have time for something as in depth as Digimon World. So apologies for that. I'll end up passing out during the stream and I got work this morning. So as we've played nothing but shite. Why don't we keep the tradition going? Let's play. Oh, that's really shite. Do I want to play that? Do I want to play that? Oh my god. Oh, um. Right. Yeah, know what? Screw it. Let's play. Gubble. Uh, Al, no, I haven't done Fade to Black, no. Fade to Black wasn't a bad game, it was just let down by Primitive Tech. But this... This is horseshit. out of space.
it happened in outer space. Oh, it's a can. Suddenly, Gobble was taken away by an alien spaceship. Oh. Dun 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 dun. To where has he been taken? Dun 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 dun. Your mission is to remove all the nails which have been hammered into this planet. What's that got to do with being abducted? By a giant can of beans. What? Oy, 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 oy. Oy, oy, oy. Why do I have to do such a thing as play this shitty game? Of course, it's much Mike the uh, the rainbow of shite on the on the NES. The Midas interactive touch did not turn everything to gold on the PlayStation. It turned it into diarrhea for the most part. There may be one or two Midas games which are okay. This ain't one of them. Let's play Gobble Renegar. Oh. Ooh. Marvel at the state of the art PlayStation graphics. Behold, yes, your ears do not deceive you. This is true technological advancement in audio and visuals. This is Gobble. I'm going to get my screw. I'm going to give the level a good screwing. By the way, the character moves even if I let go. It's much like Pac-Man in that regard. Except, you know, without all the playability, fun, excitement, intensity, speed, control, collision detection, fun, sound design, AI design, level design. No, this is not going to be in the top 100. This is going to be in the worst PlayStation games of all time. I just figured that, you know, we played three really shitty Dragon Ball Z games. We may as well carry on with the theme and keep playing shite games. So my it's over 9,000 is going to be... Uh, it's, it's over this pile of shite. Look at this. Graphically stunning... Technically wonderful masterpiece. Yeah, I'm going to screw everything on this level. Oh yeah, screw it. Whoa. So hot. the next level of joy. <clears throat> We're playing Gobble. <laughs> We're playing Gobble. Yay. Yay, it's Gobble. Oh, look, it's a spinny sign and things. <laughs> Uh, this game's fun and stuff because I get to go spinny spinny. <laughs> spinny spinny. It's 
happening? Ah, oh, feck off. No. There's a game called Hooters Road Trip. It looks like a racer. Yes. I am aware of Hooters Road Trip. I own Hooters Road Trip. I bought it for shits and giggles, much like I own Gobble. I have it extracted, ready to go. So I can play it whenever I'm ready. We might see it shortly. Oh no, I fell off my hammer and that's death. Oh well, no, wait, I can just climb right back on it and carry on. Because this game's dumb. Oh no. Right, I'm a hammer. Oh no, I fell off. I can carry on again. <laughs> There's no risk whatsoever in this silly game. I can just carry on nailing things and I'm nailing things. <laughs> Yay, I finished this. So what's the gimmick? Hooters workers drive cheap old cars. Pretty much. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. You drive the cheap old cars. And, um, yeah. You get to see Hooters girls in between your races. Whoa. Because Pornhub wasn't invented back then. And Hooters was still a reputable restaurant for families in some American states. It's kind of died off now, though. Oh, look. A drill. Oh, oh. Yeah, you drill those holes, baby. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, you drill them good. Oh, yeah. Filthy whore. Come on, you drill those holes. Yeah. 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 Woo! Oh. So they literally just slow you down. <laughs> the world is changing, the winds of change, yeah, and Hooters is getting screwed. Now, for the record, I like Hooters. I think as long as the people enjoy working there, then it's a bit of harmless fun, you know? You know, they're not being exploited. In fact, I'm sure a lot of the really attractive women there get lots of tips from lonely guys that go in to eat for a bit of company from pretty ladies. And the ladies know it. The ladies know it. They, You watch. Whenever you go to a Hooters... Wait, okay, special room. Special room? Yeah, whenever you go into a Hooters, you watch. A group of guys, they'll, they'll be friendly with you and they'll chat. But a lonely guy, they will hover and hawk on that table. They will capitalize on that poor guy's misery and loneliness. And they will flaunt everything that they've got. Because they know it gets some tips. It empowers women. So I think if you're happy working there, you should work there. I just feel sorry for the guys that have to go there just to get some semblance of attention. You know, I, I'm not exactly a pretty guy, but um, I do feel bad for those that, that have to go there to, to feel something. Yeah, I think, I think us in Europe and the UK, we're a bit more uh, liberal when it comes to, to selling sex. We don't get as much feedback like, like, uh, like they do. Okay, the story of this game, Al, is I was kidnapped on an alien mothership and now I have to screw everything. Or unscrew everything.
Give it your back. What the hell's that? Okay, I've got a tractor beam. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just unscrew the level. Happy days. Now, I want to remind you that this is an official PlayStation release. This was not a homebrew. This was a game that was released on a disc, in a box, with a manual, on shop stores shelves. And I own it. Oh look, now I've got a swap. Oh, it's getting intense now, look. Oh, I've got a swap between a hammer and my drill, my screwdriver. Just phase through with the button, of course. Well, ain't this fantastic? <laughs> so there we go, we've completed the first world. Of Gabo. <laughs> oh, it's Gabo. <laughs> now we find the green. Shall we do this level or shall we gouge our eyes out instead? Because that'll be so much more fun. <laughs> yeah, that's enough gobble for anyone's lifetime. So, as we were talking about Hooters, hoot, 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 hoot. let's play Hooters Road Trip. And watch me get flagged for inappropriate content as we play this game, I bet you. When I was a kid in Denmark, we had one television channel, and on that we had a kid's show with a teddy bear living on the moon and talking with an alien horse thing with two heads, front and back, and a man flying in to visit a helicopter pair. In Sweden, they had a man in his 30s with a propeller on his back, flying into small kids' bedrooms. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Hooters, yeah. Oh, she's got an inflatable helmet. Well, she can blow up my helmet any day. Look at the horrifically cringy staged video sections. Yeah, because, of course, all the Hooters girls do that on their time off. And watch, when it goes back to the map, doesn't it look like Texas has a camel toe on that video? On that backdrop? <laughs> the Texas camel toe, yeehaw! Tacky yet unrefined is the uh, is the tagline for this. Now let's go straight to it. Let's go for a road trip. Good BBQ. Yeah, it was good, man. Had a good BBQ. Finished off a crate of beer, some ribs, some burgers, some sausages. Yeah, good times. 
Speaking of good times, Hooters Road Trip is not a good time. Wrong, wrong. It feels like I'm on ice. The 11 people now watching to my it's over 9,000 subscriber special so we did some Dragon Ball Z GT games off the top of the show just because it's over 9,000 whoop de doo and now as we found out that every Dragon Ball Z game on the PlayStation is horseshit we're just carrying on with more shitty games so we just played um, Gobble Gobble <laughs> It's Gobble. Yay. Yay. I screw everything. Yay. And now we're playing Hooters Road Trip. Oh, yeah. This disaster. You gotta love that faux nineties rock loop that repeats over and over. There's what, two loops? Hey there, welcome to Jacksonville. Wow, that wasn't cringy at all. And the best thing they can come up with is a fucking crocodile. Wow. I wonder if that young lady is regretting her life choices about now. She must be. Yeah, not, not quite as fresh and bouncy as she used to be. I wonder how much they actually got paid to be in this game. Oh, this is uncontrollable. And let's try with analog, see if that's any better. Is Glower as bad? Do you mean Glover? Well, Glover was uncontrollable for a reason. That's because you're rolling a ball around. This is uncontrollable because the programmers don't know how a car handles. This was not free with a Hooters meal. No, this was a full retail release. People had to buy this game at a retail store with money. Oh yes. I don't think many people actually did, but That tagline, tacky yet unrefined, is becoming more and more and more appropriate. Oh, it's a dump truck. Nice, Sen. I'm going to ask, how did it eat your sock? It's a pet fish. Can't exactly snatch it off your foot. Oh, did you see that digitized cow then? Woo 
I've never been so excited to see a barnyard animal. Well, I tell a lie, there was that time when it was really cold and I was lonely, but yeah, that's another story. straight line. Oh, we're entering the big city. Woo! Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. Hi, y'all. Wow, that yeah, is the cringiest wink right. ever. Woo! Um, it says I finished first. I thought it said I was fifth. Okay, but I've unlocked a Rendan car, so nice to know they've got the car licenses there. Oh, I've unlocked another one. A Fuggo. <laughs> it needs two more Fs and then it could be a Fug Off, which is what I want this game to do. Is that it? Can I choose another map? Don't tell me that's all of it. Do another road trip. Where can you see lions? Only in Kenya. Hey, where's my new cars? It said I unlocked. You. Oh, I've got to license them, right. Okay, so what do we want? Do we want the Rendan or the Fugo? Fugo or Rendan? Um, let's go for the Rendan. It looks a bit prettier. Come on, this way to the test track. Hmm. Wow, this thing is... <laughs> I know I've had a couple of beers, but holy fuck nuggets, this is uncontrollable. This is... Oh, and if you hit... If you hit a cone, you stop dead in the tracks, pretty much. This is... This is... Oh... I said that the car has a trouble staying straight, and I said you have the same problem. Wow, you've got to tap so lightly on these corners. Did I like the XCOM games? 
No, Dominic, I didn't love the XCOM. Didn't like the XCOM games. I loved them. They're some of the best games ever, 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 ever. And they will be featured in my top 100 list. Absolutely. Some of the greatest strategy games of all time. Right up there with Civilization 2. Just top notch stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe I qualified driving like a maniac. Okay, she looks slightly psychotic. Okay, let's try and um, license the other car. We got the Fuggo there. Come on, this way to the test track. Look at this game, it's a freaking mess. I did not fall asleep on the balcony at work. I was just resting my eyes. How can anybody play test this game and think, yep, yeah, okay, that's good enough to launch. Yep, that will do our brand really good. It's going to be a great marketing tool. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. The kids are going to love it. There's no sense of me even being in a car. It looks like a box on wheels. Look, they're green. I think they they made it easy enough so that you could drive with one hand if you know what I mean let's go with the Kenaya this time um, do we have any other road trips Nope, so there's just the one scheduled road trip.
Yay! I'm sure they are lovely young women, Tom. Although probably not young anymore. chance that they could have a baby grandchild in their arms right around now. You know, especially down those Bible boat ways. There's not much else to do apart from drink and screw. past it, even though it's got a higher top speed than I do. Taxi! Meep meep mofo. It handles like a tank. It's his complete slop. But there's something oddly compelling about this slop. With its cheesy, two-dimensional, two-singular guitar riffs and, and its crappy graphics that don't even look like vehicles. It's f moon physics and yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just... And who doesn't love it? <laughs> who doesn't love the cutscene? Hey there! Hey there! Welcome to Jacksonville! Ah, oh, it's raining. Looks like it was made on Scratch. No, no, Scratch. Scratch understands that when you turn right, you turn right and then stop. This turns right and then it keeps turning right. <laughs> oh man, stop dead. Ouch. Okay, we're gonna overtake our rivals. Here we go. We're gonna do it by swerving erratically until we eventually pass them in a straight line. By the way, you don't really need to brake in this game. You just swing. Swing, swing. We're not worthy of a break. We're not worthy. There we go. First place again. Well, I guess I'm just too good. Oh no, wait. The AI is just piss poor. Turn in the corner. No, thank you, Sin. I don't like crusty bread.
Now, while my brain is being numbed to death by playing this game. Welcome to the Tar Hill State. Yeah, as I was saying before she was rudely interrupting me. Um yeah, while my mind is numb playing this game, I'm gonna ask you guys. I'm thinking of having a slight upgrade to my stream. Now I've got one, I can get one of two options. Now I, I wanna leave it to you guys what you would prefer. So the first option is to have a green screen so that I can use my webcam, put the green screen behind me and Unless you subscribe to my Patreon channel, where I can afford more things to make the stream better and improve my service and be able to make more regular streams and video content. Visit me at patreon.com forward slash juggernaut. Yada 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 yada. Sin, the live graphic system allows me to do things like action replays, um, things like uh, subscriber shout outs and whatnot at the push of a So, um, they're both about the same price. They're both about 130 quid. Um, so I can only afford to buy one for now. So, whichever one you guys request is the one I'll buy. And we'll be able to implement in future streams quite quickly. road trip mm. I think it's safe to say that that game will be going on the worst PlayStation games ever list don't you think I think it is how do I explain this eloquently it is cash grabbing horse shite with a sprinkling of narcissism and a dab of male chauvinism and a smattering, a light spreading of donkey bollocks. Okay, so. Uh, what time is it? It's now 1.30 in the morning. Do I have time for one more game? Uh, oof, difficulties. Well, I'm still waiting for you people to decide whether I'm going for a stream deck or a green screen. Okay, so we've got one vote for green screen. Anybody else for green screen? Anybody else for stream deck? Either way, you decide 
as always. Because my decision, well, is no good. It's not good, Shay. Shay? Ah, Shay. Microids. The cousin of hemorrhoids. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Or should I say, oh no. It's not good. What would be my decision on why? Well, green screen's quite cool. Just being able to set it up, put it away, use it to overlay on videos and stuff would be quite decent. Um, it's maneuverable as well, so I can use it to mask out some of the background a bit, replace my background with something a bit more interesting to watch. Um, but the Stream Deck's quite versatile as well. It'll allow me to do things like instant action replays, slow motions and improve the, the visual aspects of stuff that I can't really do while playing. Um, if it was here on my desk, I could just tap a button and away we go. So, I would like both, but I can't afford both, so I can only afford one. And as next month my wife is going to be away for a while, I'm going to have lots of time to do streams and videos, and I'd like to implement it by then. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick one. And I'm gonna let you guys decide. Ooh, funky music. Ooh, funky music. Mm. Uh oh. The city. Oh, you. Wait, wait, before we get going, you have to listen to this. That's the music of the game. Boxing. Look at that smooth control. Those beautiful graphics. You know your game's high quality when it looks this good. The time it must have taken to animate these characters must have been oh, absolutely and utterly minutes. Which is probably longer than they spent on the actual game. I've got to give it credit though, I do like the music. The music's the best bit by far. Look at the animation as I float graciously, delightfully, down the screen. Look at the animation as I walk. See you tomorrow. Beautiful graphics. Doesn't it make you wish that you were a 3D artist to be able to create such masterpieces as this? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Some enemies you can jump on, some you cannot. That's one I cannot. Oh. take full damage. Of course, why not? Why would I expect anything less from a platformer <coughs> this well designed? <coughs> Ooh, rotation. Look at that smooth animation. You'd barely see the links between animation frames one and four there. Dancing with him. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Carod. out to buy this game yet remember it its name is is no good it cost you 17 billion pound on eBay because nobody ever wants to give up their copy and why would they when you've got such beautiful animation such as this joyous tight controls infectiously addictive level design In case you hadn't noticed, cross is run and square is jump. How ass backwards is that? Yeah, he's mine. Slapped with a tail. I can't do this anymore. I just can't. I, I, I don't think I can do this anymore. Can I do this? I'll try. Maybe the music will push me on. Hey, 
right. Even the birds kill you, man. Full damage. Even that moustache kills you, man. I need some health, I'm dying already. I've been a little bit overzealous. Wow. Boing, 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 boing. Have you rushed out to buy the official Is No Good soundtrack yet? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to buy the official art book too. The making of a classic. anymore. Nah, screw this game, I'm done. Wee, 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 wee. Let's just listen to music. Hi, yeah. And on this awesome big box. Take care. I might be on tomorrow night. We'll see how things go. We might play some more shit games. Ready for the worst PlayStation games list of all time. But oh, there's so many great games that we've got to get through. So we'll probably be hammering the awesome stuff once again. But until the next stream, I will bid you adieu. And I wish you a very good night. See you next time. Bye.